in people's eye when they want to kill somebody, and she wants to have you killed. She's probably one of the coldest individuals that I've run across in my law enforcement career. She used her mind games to get to me. When we told Ramon that he was going to have to lay inside of a ditch and wear makeup, he was kind of in disbelief. Yeah, right here. I still remember like it was yesterday. This is where I literally walked on my own grave. One time we were so in love and now I have to fake my death so that she can get arrested. It's the date, Mouse, yes, we're back. Like I said, we're gonna chop up some game again with no vanilla. And like I said in every video starting, when I started this last week, yeah, last week, yeah, we took, we, we, we took, that, we took that vanilla extract out. Fellas, you're gonna have to protect yourself at all times. For those who you, again, on social media, don't bullshit on it. Use it as a guide, as an aid, like a study guide. Like a, it's a cheat sheet for you because what you will find, most women operate and navigate and move around on social media. And what they don't do or what they don't understand or acknowledge that they're doing is pretty much giving you the answers that you need. They're giving you all the information because women know where to be and when to be there they're socially intelligent they that's why the whole moving to brazil doing going you don't think these women know where you're going to be they know they like to be flies on the wall that's why you look at podcasts and stuff like that you know how women always want to get on they always want to come on i want to get on there and say something i want to get on there and say something i want to get on tiktok and do my videos and all this type of shit on this video um, just look at this. If you've seen The Dark Knight Rises, you'll see what I mean when you have to, by saying, protect yourself at all times. Trust your instincts. This video on the front of this one where you have this man basically detailing how his wife was going to have him killed. And it's a full video on Vice. Go check that out and you will see this. And you hear what he says. He used the mind games. Women are... The biggest manipulators. A woman is sitting in your face and say men lie more than women. And this this chick will have a full full lace wig, lashes, makeup, nails, heels, everything that is deceptive about how she truly is. But will say, well, that's women. We'd like to do makeup and do this. Well, bitch, put that shit on and go to sleep then since you like it so much. All right, when you when you get ready, when you if you want to if if you're doing this just for you, put pay one hundred and fifty dollars to get your face beat, pay you know red bottoms and all that, T put that shit on and go to sleep. Since you like it so much, and just get in the bed and walk around your house, if it's for you. I always say you don't believe shit a woman tells you. I said this in plenty of videos. You never believe nothing a woman tells you. You believe what she shows you, her actions. And you must be in tune to decipher her actions because they know how to. They can do it for so long, but they can only do it to the untrained eye. You know, once you're initiated and you, you know, reach certain levels and you you study the game and you've experienced, they can only run that game with certain men. That's this. This is always why when you when you have conversations and especially discussions or arguments with women, you always notice how they always have this this exception in the back pocket they always have this caveat that's gonna neutralize your argument or your claim that they're out of pocket notice how they always they always got this ace in the hole well i'm like well well if i'm always wrong about my claim and, and my intuition and shit like this wouldn't you question why you're always with a man that's always wrong see it's all see they don't expect the you have to know what questions to ask well, if I'm always wrong, even if I come to you and it's a problem and I'm always wrong, why would you want to be with a man that's always wrong about some shit? That don't make sense, now do it. When you when you sit down and think about it, if you if every claim that you say, hey, you doing this, I know what this is, and they say, nah, that's this, nah, that's this. Well, that means I'm wrong about it. And if I'm wrong about it, why would you be in a relationship with someone who's always wrong about something? That's poor, poor leadership and, and insight, or that's pretty much ignorance. You would you would an ignorant person, or you were the person that doesn't know what they're talking about. Now, do you think a woman would seriously invest and be with someone that doesn't know what they're talking about? Absolutely not. 
You have to protect yourself at all times, gentlemen. Uh, there's a post on Spiritual World right now where, and this is an Asian couple, I want to say. He, this is at the wedding reception. He, see, again, I like guys that play it all. You have to play it all the way out. If you can, if it, if you're all the way invested, play it all the way out. See, I know how to play it out to a certain degree that eliminates any probability of any physical altercation. I don't I, I'm not going to cut you off in person. I'm not meeting you because what they'll try to do. Well, uh, well, give me this back they'll, they, and that, that neutralizes their intentions right there. If they buy something for you, gift you with something, they want to get it back. Because that's 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 their way of trying to get you to play on their turf. Nah, I'm going to drop it off to your friend. I'll drop it off here and you can pick that shit up. Ain't going to be no in-person getting closure. We can talk this the last time. Nah, ain't going to be none of that. I done seen how that play out. Nah. It's never going to be in there. In there. You weak. You don't even want to do this in person. See, they, they throw all these tactics to coerce you into playing on their terms. Nah, bitch, we ain't doing none of that. We ain't doing none of that. So... You have to be able to see it through. But on this this post on Spiritual World, this man played on the big screen. This is in front of family, friends, relatives, etc. Showed the wife in bed with the best man. This is this is his wife in bed in, in bed with the best man. Or I think it was his brother in law. I don't even know if it was his best man, but I think it was this, it was the groom's brother. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? You trust no one and you protect it. Again, we have fallen into the egalitarian. You got to do it this way. Nah, how how can how as a man, a sovereign man, you know, we like to use the word high value. We'll use that. But I like the term sovereign. Why would I let another man or ideology dictate how I operate with my woman? Following this tradition that shows nothing but recklessness and carelessness and not even real commitment. It's just a title. Why would I why would I follow that same tradition that I see fail year after year, day after day? How many days you get on the Internet and you you don't see a post about a divorce? You don't see a chick that's married on Instagram showing ass and titties. Why would I follow that blind? Why would I do that? Why would you do it? Especially if you are in this space seeking knowledge and seeking wisdom. Not gonna let any man or anyone dictate how I proceed and live my life. When you go vanilla, the most high is gonna spank you. Because he told us to be sovereign and to be dominant and to really be a version of him. You gotta be a version of the most high when you operate in these relationships. So when you get weak, you fall in love and you and you try to, you know, okay, you know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna play fair, I'm gonna play on your terms. It's not gonna work. Because that is not what attracted her to you or attracted uh, yeah, her to you. You see this scene in, in The Dark Knight Rises. This was the last woman. And again, I forgot her name again. But Rachel Gould's daughter hit him with that dagger in the side when he was sent. When he was his mission was to protect and save her when he was fighting Bane. Yet she's the one that come because he never saw it coming. They, they were in. If you watch the movie, they were intimate, laid down. He let her in. They they shared secrets and, you know, that he thought this was genuine. The same way this guy at the beginning of this video, she played the mind games, got close so she can get access to his resources. You have to properly vet women. This is why, again, certain messages you it don't take a year to, for you to know. Bitch, yes, it does. You have to stop falling for these narratives. See, see, the thing is now what I've been noticing, you have a lot of women sharing these these posts that are female, uh, fueled by feminism, talking about men are the most loneliest and using dating apps. And so they're trying to push this narrative that men are going to be the ones lonely when it's way more women than men. And this is not even accounting for the homosexual population. <laughs> see, they try to spin the see what they try to do is reverse the issue that is really going to affect them and they try to twist it on the men because they think that's going to reverse. It's a reverse psychology tactic to get the men on par. Oh, I don't want to be alone. Let me get in. Let me get right. Let me go and lock some down. Nah, bitch. We seen that game. We already, we already know what that is. 
And then when I, I look at the comments and I'm, I'm, I'm becoming more and more proud of you guys. When you see this type of rhetoric on your timeline, do not acknowledge or engage in that shit. Let that shit sit. Act like you don't see it because they want the reason why they're posting it because they want you to react. Let that shit sit and, and act like you don't see it. It's a whole game. The, the, the game is being flipped on its head as we speak. You see guys like Austin Holloman, one master teacher. Shout out to those guys and many more who has the passport bro movement. Well, a lot of men, not just black, but a lot of men are seeking dual citizenship and moving out of this country to find suitable mates. And these women try to play the reverse psychology as me. How, how in the fuck are men the most lonely from a sexual aspect? I can see that, but it's way more women than men. So who's truly going to lose out? The math ain't mathing. So they throw these things out to try to gauge our attention to it, to try to gauge our investment in it. And they put these long captions trying to use trigger words Act like you don't see that shit. Because these are the women that you don't even want because the bad bitches, <laughs> the good women, they don't make posts like that anyway. They are already spoken for. They are already there are already bids being put in on them. They don't make those type of posts. So you're going to see those posts from women you don't even want anyway. And, no, and if men really wanted them, why would they be making such posts? Protect yourself at all times. In a lot of cases, women will try to weigh they'll, they'll try to weigh you down. They'll, they'll see if your that hard shell is gonna wane. Nah, I'm gonna wake up and go to sleep every day the same as that way, like a motherfucking rock, solid. Trust yourself and trust your instincts. A lot of these, a lot of these chicks, they not right. They have again. Just all you gotta do is use so they they. They put so much on social media, they don't even know that they're telling on themselves. Again, I told them, you did one grave, you might as well dig two. You, you think you're smarter than men, and you're not. You think you're smarter than men, and you're not. And your ass get caught up in the cross every time. But you playing the game with a man. You playing, a woman playing the game with men when it comes to time. That's just like trying a, a woman trying to fight a man one on one. It's a no contest. It's a no contest. It's a wrap. You you can't do nothing with it. You got to vet women, uh, gentlemen. And you only deal with them out of a position of power, meaning your terms, your way, or the highway. Nothing is going to be negotiated nor compromised. If this don't work for you, I'm sorry this didn't work. Go find you another nigga. It's simple. I don't want to hear that shit. You ain't me and I ain't you. If this don't work, I bid you adieu. And best of luck to you. Best wishes. I hope you find what you're looking for. But this ain't for you. And that's fine. Protect yourself at all times. A lot of men eat that shit in silence because they have too much invested and they're too prideful to walk away. Because once you walk away, once once you go out in public and people start seeing you dolo or with different, wait a minute, what happened to such and such, such and such? Now, depending on how the breakup happens or the split happens, you can keep your integrity and respect intact. But again, a lot of women, once you cross certain men and you try that fuck shit, I don't, we don't owe you shit. You you pissed that away. Any any amnesty or grace you thought you would have gotten, well, he just going to keep it low-key. He ain't, nah, I don't owe you that. I'm going to tell you exactly what the fuck happened. This bitch was out of pocket, playing around, doing woo woo woo. Go talk, go ask her about it. We ain't saving your reputation for shit. We ain't doing that. Nah, because you played. And your ass going to get spanked. Anybody, and that, that go man for man or woman. You play. I kill ants with a sledgehammer. So you know I ain't bullshitting. I'm going to pull us. If it's an ant bed, I'm pulling out a sledgehammer and a blowtorch. I ain't going to be no. I ain't going to get that little can and just. I ain't doing that. Nah, hand me my sledgehammer and my motherfucking flamethrower. I ain't bullshitting. I'm going to kill an ant with a sledgehammer. I ain't no plan. You got to protect yourself. You need to follow your instincts. When something comes to your gut, do not ignore it. You need to 
be tactful and patient, and it's all gonna come out in the wash. I made this. I I said this before. If it don't come out in the wash, it's gonna come out in the rinse. But you guys, let me know what you think about this video. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Date Master.